Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you guys? Fine, teacher, so fine. Oh, good, good. Glad to hear that, Carlos. Good. How was your day today? Mm, pretty busy. Um, mm. Yes. Uh, my boss asked me for something today, and I didn't be prepared for that, so I spent more time doing that. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it was a it was a busy day then. Yes. Yes. Exactly. I see. Okay. All right. Hello. What about uh Sigfrido? How was your day? Busy. <laughs> really busy. Really? It was a long, long day. Oh. Basically, we was working on a project and the project was going live today so it was going what going live i mean going to production going. oh so it was okay. uh thursday day. <laughs> mm, i can imagine yeah yeah okay okay all right what about your day osman how was your day hello good evening everybody teacher uh, my day uh, really, this day was easy because this day, oh. yes, I didn't have a meeting, only one in 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 day on day. Uh, wow. Also, we uh, finish uh, early because uh, mid middle day we finish laboring and then we go to home. No, oh, okay. Yes. Uh, you you finish what time did you say? Uh twelve. Oh. Well wow. Uh, how do you say uh doce de mediodía? Noon. Twelve noon, yes. Mm -hmm. And then and then we my team and I uh, went to the Quatepeque Lake. Uh oh. with we spent a good time in a in a restaurant there. Um, nice. Good. Yes. Wow, that's great. Good for you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. And the rest of you, how was your day? Pretty good. Had a good day. Not really. You had a good day? No, no, not so much. More or less? <laughs> okay, all right. Do you guys have plans for the weekend? No? No special plans? Uh, yes, in my case, yes. Yeah, mm. what are you what are you planning to do, Carlos? Mm. I have to recover my money. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Yes, um, I have to do a uh, product profile. Yes, something like that. I bought some cameras. I don't know if you remember the last weekend, I got to install some cameras to uh, my uh -huh. uncle's house right. next to the... So uh, one of them the, doesn't work. So I have to go to to ask if they can refund or exchange the product or give me my money back or reform my money. Wow. Reform. Refund my money. Refund. Refund. Okay. Okay. So that and, is special. <laughs> and okay. And 
if they do refund it, are you going to go back and reinstall it? Mm, I don't think so. Maybe uh, on on December I will go to install the oh. last camera, but because until December. Uh, yes, until December. Wow. Yes, travel to La Union is really hard. Four mm -hmm. hours driving. No, no, no. It's not for me. Mm. Where do you live, Carla? Uh, a papa. Mm, okay, mm -hmm. I see. Okay, okay. I understand. All right, guys and girls. Uh, we are going to start right now with our attendance. Because I don't want to... Um, Okay, behind. So we'll start with Ana Lorena Lovato. Ana Lorena Lovato. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez, sorry, uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero. Present teacher. Excellent. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Moña. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Moña. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Eh, Eulises Torres Torres. Present. Wonderful. Uh, Iliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Iliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Uh, chicos, un... Um, Por cierto, quería mencionarles um, que vamos a hacer la encuesta todos juntos. Ok, eh, el, el, la actividad tiene que ser todos juntos. Entonces vamos a, todavía, vamos a, a esperar un ratito. Um, Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Presidente Jr. Thank you. José Bernardo López Montes. José Bernardo López Montes. Eh, José Carlos Arqueta Romero. Present. Ok, thank you. Uh, José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Cosma Natilio Serrano. Cosma? Mr. Cosma. Oh, okay. Uh, are you able to turn on the camera, Cosma? And this moment and in, in my house, teachers, it's very complicated on the unstable the internet. Oh, okay, uh, but for just for the attendance, yeah. can you turn on the camera? No, I said the computer teacher for internet. You you're on your 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 cell phone, right? Postman, are you on your cell phone? Sorry, teacher. So you're on your cell Repeat. phone, you said? Yes? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is is it possible just for the attendants to turn on the camera of your cell phone? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Postman.
I guess he has a bad connection again. Miss, good evening. Hello, good evening. Um, who said good evening? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Um, okay, Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Mayra Cecilia. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present chair. Thank you. Eh, Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Present. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Perez Acosta. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Sandra Abigail Boniacano. Present. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Sigfrido Ernesto Gomez Guinea. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Good evening, present. Good evening. Thank you. Wendy Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Mirna, sorry. Mirna or Wendy? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I say Wendy? Sorry. Uh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present. Thank you. Uh, Irma Evelyn Rodriguez Torres. Irma Evelyn. Uh, Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Amanda Leonela. Eh, Eduardo Antonio Megaña Monterrosa. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, so um okay, so the second guys. So um Before anything, um, uh, I would like to ask you guys how you're doing with the platform. Are we finished? Are we having problems? Can I help you with something? Some activity, some exercise that is not clear? Please, please tell me so I can help you right now. No, teacher, I, I, I finished. I already finished. You're finished? Yes. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Me too. Um, okay. Let me just check right now quickly. I'm going to check. Um, okay. Um, so I have here Jose Lopez. Jose Lopez. Jose Lopez Montes. No está. 
Okay, I'm just checking to see if there's somebody that needs help, that somebody that hasn't hasn't finished it. Um okay, I think that's it. Yeah. Ah, Rafael. Is Rafael here? No, teacher. Hello, Rafael. Um, are you having problems with the with with the platform? Sorry. Are you having problems with the platform? Um, I will try to finish tonight. Okay. Um, can you more than try? I literally need you to finish tonight because. I'm going to be sending it before eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So if if it's not complete, I, I won't be able to to help you very much. OK, so okay. Um, I need you to finish tonight, literally. OK, sounds good. It's OK. OK, thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? I think from what I see, I think everybody else is fine. I, I think we shouldn't have a problem. So so that they'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. All right, guys and girls. So what we're gonna do right now is we're going to start with our um our survey. Okay. So um I'm going to switch to Spanish uh because this activity has to be done in Spanish. Um necesito que ahorita todos uh tengan su información lista para completar la encuesta, ya sea la información que se les mandó en el correo electrónico o también puede ser um, la que se les mandó por um, medios de WhatsApp. Entonces, pero todos, por favor, si ya sacan su información, la tienen lista para que podamos completar ese ejercicio, esta actividad de la encuesta. Bueno, lo que vamos entonces a proceder a hacer es... Um, sí. sí. Uh -huh. Una pregunta. Yo uh -huh. estoy revisando en mi WhatsApp a ver si ha mandado la información que necesitamos llenar ahí en, en la encuesta, pero no la tengo. ¿Podría publicarla usted, por favor? Ok. Eh, ¿Ya revisó su correo electrónico? Eh, normalmente lo, está, lo mandaban por... WhatsApp, pero... Está bueno, en el grupo de WhatsApp, Carla Lemus lo mandó. Ah, ahora sí, lo mandaron. Sí, a la creo que sí, la... tiene razón. No la tengo. No, no, no. Sí, ahí está la, el, el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Quién lo mandó, Carla Lemus? Uh -huh. Déjame ver si es la encuesta lo que está aquí. No, no es lo que envió a Marisol. Ah, no, es el link de la, de la Mix. Okay. No, 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 ahí está. Déjame ahí está ver. la información. Ah, Marisol ahí la la Sí, ahí está la información. Uh -huh. Marisol. Aunque claro que cada uno de ustedes también necesita saber, por ejemplo, um, el nombre eh, de su empresa, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Entonces, um, el, o sea, específicamente la razón Ajá. social de su empresa. Eso ya, sí no va ya. a estar ahí. Entonces, ¿ok? Uh -huh. okay. ¿Listos okay. entonces todos? Ready. Ok, muy bien. Bueno, entonces lo que vamos a hacer es que uh, vamos a compartir la pantalla um, y me indican, por favor, si pueden ver mi pantalla. Only black. No, yet, teacher. No, yet. Not yet. 
Okay, let me know. It'll it'll be on in a moment. No, no. yes. Okay, yeah. perfect. Okay, so this is the video that you guys probably have seen. Oh, bueno. Este es el video que uh, muy probablemente lo han visto muchas veces, pero igual tenemos que mostrárselos que es como llenar la encuesta, porque puede ser que uno que otro alumno eh, sea la primera vez y también es, nos sirve como un buen recordatorio. Entonces vamos a proceder a ver el video. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta. Un momentito. ¿Pueden verlo bien o no? Yes, teacher. It's a little blurry. Yeah, I don't know why it's like that. Okay, let me let me stop sharing it. Voy a intentar compartir nuevamente. No, voy, a, voy a cargarlo otra vez para ver si me da una mejor señal esta vez. Ok, creo que sí. Ok, let me try it again. Vamos a intentar nuevamente. Aquí vamos. ¿Puedes verlo? Sí. Sí, es un poco mejor. Ok. Here we go then. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en la información que hemos compartido. Y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarlo tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso. 
y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán, las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, si no las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, por favor de tomar una captura de pantalla compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Ok. Uh, y eso sería todo. Vamos a dejar compartir. Entonces, ese es un recordatorio de cómo vamos a llevar a cabo la encuesta. Entonces, um, ya que tenemos eso bastante claro, ese recordatorio, vamos a proceder entonces a ir a la parte de la encuesta. Eh, también la, el, el enlace de la encuesta está allí. Así de que... Vamos a compartir pantalla y la encuesta se mira así. ¿Todos pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. ¿Y todos tienen el formulario de la encuesta abierta? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. yes teacher. Okay. Muy bien, excelente. En tal caso, entonces vamos a proceder a empezar con la encuesta. Primeramente es ingresar el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y plecas. Será proporcionado por el proveedor. Puede copiar y pegar. Por favor, solo copien y peguen. No, no deben de tratar de, eh, de ir uno, una palabra, o sea, número por, por número, letra por letra, tiene que ir tal como debe ser. Aquí, por ejemplo, Podemos uh, notar que está la orden de inicio. Vamos a copiar. Y luego vamos a pegar acá. ¿Ok? Por favor, como decía, no traten de, de escribirlo uno a uno porque se nos puede quedar eh, algún guión, alguna pleca, lo que sea, lo que se necesita hacer. ¿Ok? Por favor, eh, no se adelanten a, a mandar la encuesta. Tienen que, tenemos que hacerlo todos juntos. Esas son las indicaciones que se les da en todos los cursos que debemos hacerlo todos juntos. ¿Ok? Bueno. Um, luego. Eh, bueno, perdón. Um, sí, aquí está el la información. Luego vamos a poner su nombre completo, tal y como aparece en el TUI. Entonces, eh, no puede ir 
sin sus dos apellidos, tiene dos apellidos, no puede ir sin su, eh, su segundo nombre, si usted tiene un segundo nombre, o si también ya tiene un nombre de eh, un apellido de casada, debe también ponerlo. Justo como le aparece en su nombre, en su uh, en su dubi. Ok. Luego uh, procedemos con el correo electrónico. Este es el, el correo electrónico que usted ha, pro, uh, ha provisto eh, y es el que precisamente tenemos registrado con Insaport. Entonces, eh, puede ser que usted tenga varios correos electrónicos, pero usted va a dar el que siempre usted da para, eh, con el que se ha registrado con esa parte. Si tiene inquietud de, um, a saber cuál es, eh, solamente piense en el correo electrónico donde le llegan todas las, las, uh, las acreditaciones para los nuevos módulos, ¿verdad? Entonces, es el correo que va a utilizar. Y asegúrese también que eh, la, la parte final está correcta, ¿verdad? Si, si debe de llevar punto .com o punto .sb o punto .lo que sea, ¿verdad? ¿Alguna preguntita? Ok. Procedemos entonces también con el número de celular. Este número de celular nuevamente es el número que usted ha dado eh, para eh, el, el módulo. Entonces, um, si tiene dudas, piense a qué número me llaman. Cuando, cuando Inglés Corporativo quiere contactarse conmigo, ¿a qué número me llaman? O sea, el número celular, por supuesto. ¿eh? Entonces, ese es el número que usted va a dar. Aunque usted tal vez tenga varios números, tiene que ser ese. Luego va a ser, uh, va a poner uh, su, su sexo, ¿verdad? Si es el sexo femenino o masculino, en este caso sería más femenino para mí, ¿verdad? Eh, luego por acá el departamento donde usted vive en este momento. Entonces, aquí va a escoger de todos los departamentos, ¿verdad? Va a escoger el que más se pega, como he hecho el, el que es. Okay. Y luego acá va el municipio, aquí se tiene que digitar, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, usted va a digitar exactamente a dónde es de que usted vive en el departamento. ¿Sí? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? No, no te el, yo, el, Perdón, te chico, el, 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 la Lo que era la primera, donde está el número del proveedor, no logré copiarlo. El, ¿Cuál? ¿El número de inicio? Es, ¿La ah, orden de ah, inicio? Ese, me parece. Ah, eso le iba a consultar, si era el que aparecía como orden de inicio en, sí, en los datos. Sí, orden que de enviaron. inicio, correcto. Ah, ok. Esa okay. Es la or... okay gracias. So, copie y, y pegue. Ajá, ajá, ok, gracias. Okay. ok, por favor, solo copien y peguen, porque si no, eh, por un número que, 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 que no pongan, entonces ya, ya no está correcta la, la orden de inicio. Entonces asegurémonos de solo copiar y pegar. Ok, ¿alguna otra pregunta e inquietud que tengamos hasta la fecha? Ahorita estamos en el punto número 7. ¿Todos están ahí conmigo? Yo sí, chef. Les, les vuelvo a, a recordar, por favor no manden todavía la, las, uh, las encuestas hasta que lo hagamos todos juntos. No vamos a estar ahorita mandando al grupo porque debemos hacerlo todos juntos. ¿Ok? Teacher. Ok, sí, dígame. ¿Puede ayudarme a poner en el chat eh, el, lo de la pregunta 1, el número completo, la orden de inicio? Porque estoy usando celular y no lo puedo copiar okay. del mensaje de WhatsApp porque me copia todito. De acuerdo. 
por favor. Okay. Ahí debe ser. Hoy sí. Pues, pues, hoy sí le, lo tiene. Sí, ahorita okay. sí, sí. Gracias, gracias. Perfecto. Ok, de nada. ¿Alguna otra inquietud hasta el momento? Estamos en el punto 7. ¿Todos estamos ahí juntos? No deberían sí. de estarse adelantando. Todos vamos a ir juntos. Lo estoy esperando a todos. Ok, muy bien. Continuamos entonces. Luego aquí es la empresa donde trabaja. Por favor, eh, deben de poner la razón social. No es el, nom el nombre comercial ¿verdad? de su empresa, sino que la razón social. Por ejemplo, eh, inglés corporativo es el nombre comercial, pero la razón social no es inglés corporativo. Por lo tanto, tengo que poner eh, la razón social, que sería Regal International. ¿Ok? Entonces, por favor, tengan cuidado con ese detalle. ¿Alguna preguntita sobre eso? ¿No? Ok. Por favor, digiten ahí su nom el nombre completo de su empresa como la razón social. Ok, continuamos. Nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. Eso sería precisamente inglés corporativo que lo va a encontrar acá. Inglés corporativo, Regal International, SADCB. Como les decía anteriormente, inglés corporativo es el nombre comercial y Regal International SADCB es de razón social. Y así es como ustedes pondrían también en, el su, en su caso, ¿verdad? No el comercial, sino que la razón social. Luego, aquí está el nombre del curso. Esto nuevamente vamos a ir de vuelta y copiar y pegar. Aquí está el nombre del curso. Tiene inglés intermedio ah. módulo 6. Exactamente como aparece ahí. No lo vamos a poner, por ejemplo, English Intermediate Module 6. No. O tam y tampoco vamos a poner, por ejemplo, eh, inglés intermod 6. No. Tiene que ir completo exactamente de esta forma. Sin comillas, sí. Solamente el nombre. ¿Ok? Que no puedo, lo, lo voy a copiar ahí en el chat. Ok, es exactamente como debe ir. Luego vamos a hacer la, vamos a calificar los aspectos del curso dependiendo de su experiencia vivida. Esto es valor del docente. Pero el valor en los siguientes es aspectos a relativos al curso. Usted va a decidir si, va de, si es un suficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno o excelente. El primero sería, ¿cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? Ok, entonces, eh, si usted cree que es muy rápido o, eh, o cree usted que es un buen tiempo, es el tiempo justo que se necesita. Eh, ¿Qué opinión del contenido y estructura? Pero, ¿qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? O se va a decidir. ¿Cómo, ¿Qué vale su opinión? ¿Qué opinión de las, pero, ¿qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? ¿Verdad? Esto, esto incluye los manuales digitales, la plataforma. Para todos esto, estos recursos que necesitamos utilizar para el curso, para, se va a decidir qué va, qué va a poner. Eh, eh, ¿Estamos bien hasta el momento? ¿Hasta el aspecto número 11? 
Sí, teacher. ¿Todos estamos juntos ahí? Sí, teacher. Ok. ¿Todos estamos bien entonces? Ok, continuamos entonces. Eh, en la fecha de inicio de curso, nuevamente vamos a regresar acá y vamos a verificar que dice que es el 25 de septiembre del de 2023. Entonces vamos a abrir el calendario y vamos a buscar septiembre. Ahorita dice que octubre porque estamos en el mes de octubre. Así que vamos a tener que darle a la flechita para arriba y encontramos que es el 25 de septiembre, que es este de acá. Ok, debería aparecernos así. Y ya para la fecha de finales de finalización del curso, nuevamente regresamos acá. Vemos que es el 27 de octubre del 2023, que es el día de hoy. Eh, este es un poquito más fácil porque nos va a aparecer justo en la fecha. ¿Ok? El día de hoy. ¿Ok? Entonces va a aparecer 27 de... Sería de octubre del 2023. ¿Alguna preguntita hasta el momento? No, teacher. ¿No? Ok. Bueno, entonces en este caso sería, eh, vamos a pasar a la parte 14, que es cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso. Ah, cuando aquí hablamos acerca de eh, nivel de satisfacción, estamos hablando no acerca de cómo se siente que eh, el desempeño que usted dio en el curso, ni así por el estilo. Estamos hablando de cómo usted siente que se le apoyó eh, durante el curso, a, tanto en la parte académica como de persona, ¿verdad? Como en la parte eh, administrativa, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, ¿cómo está satisfecho ahí con cómo se, se, cómo se le impartió el curso? ¿Verdad? Y la, el apoyo que se le dio. ¿Ok? Y luego... Ah, perdón. Entonces va, perdón, va, va a decidir si está satisfecho o insatisfecho. Y luego eh, va a mencionar otros cursos que son de su interés. Estos cursos pueden ser cursos que eh, ya sea usted sabe que es por qué se está impartiendo o cursos que usted eh, le gustaría en un futuro tomar, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, para decirle algo, podría ser, no sé, Excel. Es un ejemplo. O si le, o si, o si le interesa otra cosa como... Puede ser también, ¿verdad? Lo que usted desea. Y aquí va a colocar cualquier otro comentario que usted tenga ¿Verdad? Eh, ya sea observaciones o, uh, o agradecimientos, lo que usted desea agregar ahí. Todavía no, no lo enviamos, no lo enviamos porque tenemos que revisar, ¿ok? Acuérdense que esto solamente se puede ver una vez, así de que tenemos que asegurarnos que esté bien hecho. Vamos entonces a regresar en la parte de arriba. Y vamos a asegurarnos de que todo esté completo, que no nos hayamos, eh, um, que, que, que no nos hayamos saltado algo o se nos haya quedado por error algún, algún espacio y que las cosas estén correctas. Entonces, aseguremos que el or la orden de inicio sea exactamente este número con los guiones que su nombre esté completo, entonces si tiene dos nombres y dos apellidos, que parezcan es, eh, dos nombres y dos apellidos, que su correo electrónico también incluya eh, la parte del de servidor, ¿verdad? Que sería arroba, ya ponemos, aseguremos que pongamos eso, y que la parte final también esté correcta, si es punto com, punto sb, punto 
MX, lo que sea, no sé, eh, lo que sea su correo electrónico. Que su número de celular sea el correcto, ¿verdad? Que no nos hayamos olvidado de algún dígito. Que has, haya seleccionado cuál de los dos eh, sexos es, femenino o masculino. El departamento donde usted reside, que lo haya escogido correctamente. Y que haya digitado el municipio exacto donde usted vive. Luego... Uh, vamos a poner donde trabaja usted, asegúrese que haya puesto la, la razón social y que luego en el punto 9 haya escogido inglés corporativo, no otro. Luego nos aseguramos de que diga exactamente esto, inglés intermedio módulo 6. Y luego que hayamos escogido uno de estos tres, pero uno de estos uh, cinco puntos en cada uno de los de los tres aspectos a evaluar. Debemos asegurarnos de que la fecha de inicio diga 25 9 2023 y que la fecha de, fin, de eh, finalización del curso diga 27 10 2023. Luego aseguremos que hemos escogido eh, si estamos satisfechos eh, con el curso o no y algún, algún curso de su interés que he puesto acá y algún comentario si usted quiere agregar. Luego de haber asegurarnos, eh, habernos asegurado de que todo eso esté completo, hoy sí vamos a darle enviar y Luego, entonces, vamos a proceder a tomarle una captura de imagen um, o una foto, de preferencia una captura de imagen, eh, y lo mandamos al grupo de WhatsApp con su nombre en la parte inferior. De la, antes, no, no le vamos a mandar el nombre separado, sino que junto con la foto. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna preguntita? Okay. Entonces, um, debería de estar cayendo todos los... Ok, muy bien. ¿Tienen alguna duda, inquietud? No, todo bien. Ok. Muy bien. Excelente. Ahorita están cayendo justo como debe de ser, así que creo que estamos bien. Ok. Bueno, entonces en ese caso, chicos, eh, damos con, uh, concluido la encuesta y vamos entonces a continuar ahí con el resto de nuestro curso para terminar eh, la información que debemos de ver el día de hoy. Mm, ok. So, please tell me if you see my screen yes perfect okay very good um okay so we are going to um do a little review remember yesterday we were looking at the transitions the transitions that we were looking at were the following we have certainly naturally a of course um second
Okay, so we have certainly, naturally. No. Of course. Um, um, I don't know why. Oh, there it is. Okay. I see. Um, it is true. Yeah. Um, it is to be sure and granted. Do we understand? Do we understand this, this vocabulary? Mm, yeah? The first one and the last one, teacher. I'm not sure. In my case. Okay. Certainly so which one? Granted. Certainly, I, I think. In grand, granted. Okay, certainly. certainly. Certainly, it's like saying for sure. It's the same, for sure. Yeah, it's like saying like, oh. uh -huh, uh, like yeah, for sure. Okay. And granted? Granted means... Um, it's like uh, given the permission or given, um, a, yeah, like a, like provided that they give the authorization. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? No? Okay, all right, so in that case, um, what we're gonna do is um, we're going to, oh, and remember what we talked about yesterday, that we need to put a comma after the transitions if it's at the beginning of the sentence. If if it's in the middle, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, put the commas around the, the, the transition, okay? So keeping that in mind, what I need you guys to do is to, um, we're gonna be working on, second. So we're gonna be working on this exercise here. Um, so it says, read the following strategies to keep employees engaged at work. Add the missing punctuation when necessary and check answers with a classmate. So right now, these are the sentences and I want you to, um, um, to put the correct punctuation where it's needed, okay? Um, to give you an example, the first one has been done for you. Uh, to be sure, comma, employees must be able to move fast through their workplace. Okay, so this shouldn't be that difficult. So I need you guys to do that right now. <clears throat> okay. 
there it goes. I'm just gonna move, try to move this a little bit so I see if, there you go. Yeah, that's better. you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask me. Okay, how are you doing? Are we almost finished? Are we ready? Anybody need more time? Nobody needs more time? Okay, so in that case, um, let's check. Let's check those answers. Okay, so employees could get frustrated, granted they have, they have to remember too many passwords to access an area. Mm hmm What did you put? Put, put tiger, comma, branches, comma. Good. Frustrated, comma. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. Granted, granted, comma. Good, granted comma. Excellent, so employees could get frustrated, comma, granted, comma, they have to remember too many passwords to access an area. Good. Next, um, naturally it's important to know as much as possible about the personal tendencies and needs to each, uh, of each employee to generate engagement. Naturally, comma. What? Naturally, Naturally, comma. Naturally, comma. Comma. Okay. Excellent. Naturally, comma. It's important. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. Um, let's continue. Um, there are many ways for a company to let its employees know they are important. Of course, one of these ways is to cons 
offer con constant training and learning. Important common or core common? Sorry, could you repeat? Are important common or core common? One of these way is the mm. offer constant training. Actually, Maybe. no. Huh? Important comma. Of course, comma. Mm. Anybody have another idea? No ideas? Okay. Does this sound like a one sentence to you? Does it sound to you like one sentence? Or does it sound to you like two sentences? Does it sound like one sentence or two sentences to you? Ross, please answer. Does it sound like one or two sentences? In number three? In number four. Not four. Yeah, because we already did number three. Two sentences. We have it sounds like uh, right. Uh, it sounds before, of course, and after. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Could you repeat what we're gonna do, Carlos? Uh, put commas and after, of course, and before. Okay, so if there are two sentences, where are we going to stop? Where where does one sentence stop and the other one begin? Um, of course, for an is between both sentences. Sorry? Of course, of course, is between uh, both sentences. Okay, so where do we finish the first sentence? The first one finish in poland. Good. The first one finishes in important. So what do we do to finish a sentence? Period. A period. Very good. We don't put a we don't put a we don't put a comma. We put a period. Okay. Very, very important. Do not put comma. Put period. Commas are within sentences. Periods are to finish a, a sentence. Okay? Mm -hmm. So very, very important that we remember that, okay? Then what are we gonna do? Because remember, it says oh. here, add the missing punctuation. It doesn't say add the missing comma. It says add missing punctuation. So any punctuation works. So what are we gonna put? Comma after, of course. Mm, what, okay, what do we need to do before we put the comma? Because we just put a period. A capital. There. Capital. Yes. Where? Start where is the capital. where is the capital that we're gonna put? Of. Right. On the O of of. So we're gonna okay. put a uh, a, a capital. capital there. Yeah. We gotta make sure that we put a capital. Okay. Then after that, what are we gonna do? Put a comma. Right, we're gonna put a comma. Where's where are we gonna put the comma? Of course. What about After course? course? After course. Of course. Very good. There you go. Of course, comma. All right. Does that make sense?
Russ, does that make sense to you? Okay, so it's okay, it's clear. Any questions? Okay, I'm guessing that if no one's saying anything it's because you don't have any questions, right? Okay, so let's continue then. Get feedback from your employees and certainly act on this knowledge to solve engagement defi deficiencies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Class, are you there? <laughs> you guys there? So what are we going to do? Number five. What are you going to do with number five? Hello. What are we going to do with number five? Yeah, let me see. Uh, get a feedback from your employee and comma certainly comma mm -hmm. act. Uh, I have a question. Uh -huh. It's possible in English to put a comma after end? Um, yes, it is possible. For me, it's not making any sense because N is join, trying to join two sentences. So, right. So the so I was gonna finish saying it is possible, but only when we have a list. Only we have, when we have a list of words like so we have, um. Uh, Um, what's it called? Like, yeah, like for example, um, I went to the supermarket and bought apples, pears, um, carrots, and lettuce, like that. That'd be a list. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, what are we going to do? Please tell me. Please tell me, what are you going to do? If we follow the instruction, yeah. just put a comma after and before, certainly. Okay, so put a comma after, certainly. Good, there you go. That's what we're going to do. Sounds good? Okay. Okay. Um, all right, let's go on to the next one then. It, it is true uh, promoting closer connections among colleagues helps them care more about their work workplace. So what are we gonna do? It is true, comma. It is true, comma, comma. good. Here you go. It is true, comma, promoting closer uh, connections among colleagues helps them care more about their workplace. 
All right. How does that sound? Okay. I have a question. I have a question, teacher. Uh huh. Yes. No, and number five. Get feedback from your employee and uh, certainly between commas or no. Sorry, could you repeat that again? Uh, but uh, get feedback from your employee and comma, certainly, comma. Is true? Here. To, you're, you're, you're talking about the comma here? Yeah, certainly. Between comma, comma. Yeah, uh, yeah, we wouldn't be able to put um there because then what we're doing is we're cutting off the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, if there was something else there, then we could. But because there's just the word and, we can't put a comma there. Does that make sense, mm -hmm. Mauricio? Uh, that's that what I say, the same rule in Spanish, right? You cannot put letter Y. Let letter Y and still comma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have to have something else there. We can't just put and and then a comma. Does that make sense, Mauricio? I don't understand. Okay, so we only have the word and if we if we if we um if we put a comma here then we're just we have comma and comma we can't have that yeah. the word and is not possible because we we need another word for it because does that make sense like we can't just put and and then a comma we need another word next to it in order for there to be a comma okay and so the word then the word that we need is certainly that's the word we need to complete in case there are there is a there are a sentences no because where where are you going to put the where are you going to put the period mm. in your in your opinion where is the period mm. i have to do that a doubt okay I don't, what's, I, I don't know. what's your I doubt don't know. i don't know what's your doubt why why don't write certainly in between comma why o sea no podemos poner una coma después de la palabra and porque no tenemos o sea and no es o sea es un, un conector entonces necesitamos mm. otra palabra a la par de and yeah. mm. Okay, does that make sense? Y la palabra que necesitamos es precisamente certainly. Okay? Mm. Mauricio? More or less. More or less. Okay, bueno, es, es una regla. Es una regla. No, la palabra and no puede ir solita. O sea, no podemos separar and es, y ponerla uh, sola. Uh, okay. I understand. I All understand. Right. Perfect. Yeah. 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 All right. Um. Okay. So we're gonna. 
We're going to continue. We're going to Okay, second. Ah. Okay, now what we're going to do is we have here a story. Have you ever heard of Walt Disney? I'm sure you have, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm sure you have. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going, um, we're going to be reading the story about a uh, successful, uh, it's, it's, it's a successful business and it's precisely the story of Walt Disney. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put you into breakout rooms and you're gonna read the article together, or, okay? The story, you're gonna read it together. And then you're gonna be answering these questions that we have down here, okay? Um, does that make sense? Yes, Any chance? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what you can do in your groups is that you can take turns reading, so that it's not just one person. Let's let's actually take turns reading. Okay. And I'm gonna send you in WhatsApp. I'm gonna send you guys the um, story. Just a second. Yes, it's a good one. Okay, there it is. Someone to work. I didn't know this. I don't know why it doesn't want to work. Okay, there it is. All right, could you please confirm uh, when you have? We have received it. Got it? Did you receive it already? Yes, it is in WhatsApp. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. Remember, take turns reading, and then you're going to answer the questions. All right, so here we go. We're opening the rooms. Uh, Emerson?
What happened, boys? Boys, what happened? Is it Emerson, Ricardo, are you there? Sorry, I was talking on you. Oh, okay. Sorry. What happened? Um, um basically i uh, just asking on mute <laughs> to okay. Emerson if we can read each one paragraph each one so okay emerson so, are you there yes Misa, yeah, I'm... okay uh, perfect so... so you guys can go ahead and, and work together then uh, ricardo are you there Ricardo, are you there? Uh, yes, um, okay. I'm, I'm not here. <laughs> I think so. You you are or you aren't? I'm here, but, but I'm busy. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. All right. So. All right. So go ahead, guys. Is Ricardo in Emerson? Okay, got it. Um, Emerson, I you are if I read the first paragraph and saying you don't know what to say, go down so on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, my brother won't give me money to make movies. Can you help get more money out of the park in this month? Well, this night ask his associate Mike. My pool led together a team of seven people. Let's open at the park on Monday and Thursday. Thursday. Suggest so a woman in the team. They they thought no one would come. Well, for a Magic Kingdom club and let corporate members give their employees discounted admissions on those days. The plan worked to be beyond the expectation as the families that got discounted tickets spent more in the park on toys for their ch children. On Christmas, the doorbell ran out of the, out the homes of each of the 17 members. Mickey Mouse stood on the doorstep with an envelope. Inside, it were 100 children of Disney stuck. 25, <laughs> they had 25, <laughs> 1,000 bills and a handwriting note from Wall. It's fantastic. You're fantastic. Do it again. That afternoon, Christmas afternoon, all seven were back in the office. This time, the lady monitored what happening in the park at different hours. Let's open the park lake on Thursdays nights in May. She say, they thought no one will stay. Well, by and limit it to graduating high school seniors and call it grad night. The plan worked beyond expectations. Okay. 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 It's not sure for Mike's help. Because he mm -hmm. doesn't have enough money to make movies. Uh, no money. What did Meg do to help Wal? So, they one world stay, world invite and limit into graduate, graduating high school seniors and college grade night. I don't know grade night. The plan worked beyond expectation. Hey, I'm sorry for for la lectura, compañero Fredo. <laughs> okay. We have to read. Uh, yes. Yes, we have to read the the paragraph. Okay. Or oh, we have to to answer, to answer questions. No, yeah, no answer. The next. The next step uh, is we had to answer the, the question. Ah, but example, now we have to read, just to read. No. 
the first the first we had to it's read, read. Oh, and okay. <coughs> we had to answer this uh, sentence why did Walt Disney search search for Mike's Mike's heart oh. uh, for me is because his brother won't give him mon money to make movies mm -hmm. ¿Por qué Walt Disney buscó a Mike? Ayuda a Mike, de Mike. My brother won't give me money to make move, to make mu movies. Pero no sería her brother. No, he's his brother. I don't know. Yeah, he's his brother. His brother won't, won't give, give, give him. Give him money to make mm -hmm. movies. Mm -hmm. I, guess, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Mina. You have to read. You have to write. Right. <laughs> the, the answer. <laughs> okay, I'm going to answer. stop share. Okay. You are our pro. Oh, chica. <laughs> our <laughs> cock. Going to write. Number one. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if you want uh, Mirena, uh, Mirena, uh, yeah. I... No, just the just the just the oh. just the answer says. Okay. okay, okay. Why did Walt Disney search for Mike help? I think because his brother, his brother, his brother, let's open the power, mm -hmm. Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, let's open the power, the buttons in the same. Why did Walt Disney search for Mike's help? Mm -hmm. um, and the number one, I think uh, Mike helps uh, for, for looking for health or money, I think. For money to make movies. Yes, yes. Why this? Uh -huh. Search my hope will be uh, can you help get more money? Out of the park. The second, what did Mike to do? Her world. And Mike pulled. Ah, uh, pulled together. Yeah, pulled together a team of seven, seven people. people. Yeah. Let's open the park on Mondays and Tuesdays. So just uh, a woman in the team. They threw. Why did my kingdom call our brand work? Offer discount and ticket. Discount admission on those days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number three is why did the Magic Kingdom Club plan work? Mm -hmm. Well, for a Magic Kingdom Club, 
and let corporate members. Ah, oh, let corporate members give their employees discount on mission. Uh, I think will be the answer, the number three. And it's a, why did the Magic Kingdom Club plan work? Well, for a Magic Kingdom Club and let corporate members give their employees discount admission on those days. I don't know. Yeah. The next Monday is start new model. <laughs> no relax. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> no, but but uh, for me it's no not not bad because um when you uh stop a few days I don't know you less the practice yes. And in this case, for me, yeah, the practice is is very important because if you uh, can uh, learn or practice every day, uh, is uh, is more easy learning English. Yeah, because it's important yeah. practice. Only for the time, uh, I say that uh, sometimes we need. Uh, one or two days for relax, but for the learn the the language is 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 better. Yeah, it's necessary. A learning new vocabulary is important for uh, for the for the the conversation over time. Um, more practice. English is a very important, very, very practice. All listening, reading, and pronunciation. All right, guys and girls, so we're going to check. You see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So the first one says, why did Walt Disney search for Mike's help? Mm -hmm. Because he needs money. Uh, because he needs money. He need a uh, help for starting to make movies. Uh, and, uh, 
will to make will, movies. Yeah, my brother will give me money to make movies, and you help me get more money out of the park, Disney. Club? While Disney. Uh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yep, so right. So he needed more money to make uh, to make movies, right? Because his brother wouldn't give him. Okay. So my brother won't give me money to make movies. Okay. Um next. What did Mike do to help Walt? Mike pulled together a team of seven people. Mm -hmm. And? And let's open the park on Monday. So it's Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Good. And he suggested it opening the park on Mondays and Tuesdays. Right? Okay, good. Uh, why did the Magic Kingdom Club plan work? The players received discount tickets. Right, but why did it work? The question is, why did it work? Why did the plan work? Why did it work? Because the family got discount ticket and spend more in the park. Yes, exactly. So they got because those families that got the discounted ticket spent more in the park on toys for the ch for their children. Right. So yes, they didn't pay so much for the the tickets, but they spent money inside of the park on the toys. Um, how were the employees in the team rewarded after the success of the plan? Mm -hmm. I give to you give one hundred action mm -hmm. of the Disney with the uh, Twenty five. Uh, one thousand dollar bills. One dollar bill. And a handwritten note from Walt. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So imagine tw that's twenty five one thousand dollar bills. That means that, that there was twenty five thousand dollars there. Plus one hundred shares of Disney stock. So that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And, and, and take into consideration that this was way back. I'm not sure exactly what, but I think it was like somewhere like 1940, 1950, something like that. So that's a lot of money. Um, and um, what effect what effect had the reward on the employees? They had a motivator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were motivated. How how did they show that they were motivated? Uh, they 
Receiving employees were back in the office in Christmas afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Who works on a Christmas afternoon? Nobody. Nobody, right? But they were so motivated. Um, they, they left up in the park late of Thursday night in May. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, exactly. Um, so they were so motivated um, that they, they went back and worked on a Christmas afternoon. Right? So that it really is a story of motivation. That's how you um that's how you motivate um your your employees, definitely. All right. Um all right, any questions so far? Okay. All right, guys. So we have officially finished our um, uh, the information that we were supposed to see for today. However, we do have some special um, requests um, from some of our participants. Um, they requested having some some reviews and um, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. So in the last 15 minutes, I'll be doing a little bit of review with you guys on some structures. Just give me a moment while we open up this picture. Okay, please tell me if you are able to see it. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Yes, you sure. Perfect. Okay, so this is a review of the conditionals. Um, in section two, I think it was, we saw conditional, specifically conditional one and conditional three. So um, we're going to be looking at, we're going to be reviewing those, okay? So um, the first one is um, the conditional one. We're not gonna review, conditional uh, two because we never saw that but we're going to review um, conditional one which is a conditional of something that is likely to happen today or in the future so this is very likely this is something that is very possible that that could happen okay that's why we use it we talk we're talking about something that is very possible to happen today, like in the present or in the future. And the structure that we're going to be using is going to be present in the simple. conditional, we're going to use the present simple. Okay. Yeah. Let me change the color. So we're going to use the present simple. Like over here, I have saved enough money. So I save, so I save enough money. So save is in the simple present. In the result, we're gonna be using will, or it can be also any other modal, like might, may, might. could, 
can, okay? and then the verb. Example, will buy. So it says, I save enough money, I will buy that mansion. So I will buy that mansion, we're talking about the future, right? Okay, so this is a very possible, something that it's very possible to happen. And it's possible to happen because um, it's something like, because I have saved enough money or I save enough money. That's why it's possible. I'm not imagining that it's a possibility. I know that it's a possibility because I save enough money. Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah. Ross, does that make sense for everybody? Please tell me. Yes. Is there something that, that you want me to explain further or is condition number one um pretty clear for you it's clear for me it's clear yes teacher okay all right good excellent so like i said before i'm not going to get into the conditional number two because we haven't seen that okay so i'm forget about this one but what we have seen, the one that we have seen, is the third conditional. Okay, And the third conditional is something that already passed. This is something of the past. Okay? And we are imagining that we're going to change the past. It's, yeah. We're going we're gonna to imagine. Obviously... It's not possible to change the past. That's why it will never happen. It will never happen because we can't change the past. But let's imagine. It's hypothetical. Okay? We're going to use our imagination. In this case, we use the, in the conditional, we're always going to be using the word had, not have, not has, not having, not to have but had, and then the past perfect. Okay. Um, actually, technically speaking, this should say past, uh, past per, uh, participle. Okay, so I'm just gonna change it there so that it makes a little more sense to you. So not past perfect, but past participle. Okay, sounds good. So remember what I told you before, um, you got to know your past participles. If you don't know your past participles, you're going to run into problems, especially with the structure. Okay. And then in the results, we always use would have. Again, not would has, not would had, not would having, not would to have, no, it's would have, always, always, would have, would have, would have, or in the negative, wouldn't, okay? And then we're going to use the past participle. Okay? So in this case, we have had, we have here, and the past participle, one. 
here we have wood and then half. And past participle of buy is bought. How does that sound? Do we understand this? Yes, teacher. You have questions, something you want to ask? Okay, don't forget though, that uh, we always have to use the if conditional. So we have to always say if blah, 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 blah. But the if conditional can be at the beginning or it can be at the end, okay? Um, sorry, like, sorry, it could be at the, at the beginning or it could be in the middle. If it's in the middle, no problem. But if it's at the beginning, you have to separate the two clauses with a comma, just like right here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so we have right there, comma, and right here, the comma. Any questions? No? No, teacher. No, no. Okay. All right. And I also got a special petition to review um, the past progressive. So please tell me if you can see my screen. You see my screen? Yes, yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> all right, so past progressive, a, another word Another way to call the past, past progressive is the past con um, co um, continuous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's the same thing. So if you guys see progressive or continuous, it's the same thing. So always, 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 always with the past progressive, we use was or were. Was we use with I, he, she, and it. Were we use with you, we, and they. After that, we're going to be using the verb. Okay. And we're going to be adding to the verb, we're going to be adding the ing. Okay. That's going to be our structure all the time. Was or were plus verb plus ing, which is pretty, pretty straightforward. I think it's it's pretty easy to, to remember that, right? Was a word plus verb plus ing. What becomes tricky is actually trying to understand where to use it. So, so I'm going to review what's the reason why we use it. So the reasons can be, for example, um, Second. Okay, so we can actions before and after a specific time. Okay, so yesterday at noon, I was eating lunch. So 
there's a specific time, right? The specific time is yesterday at noon. Okay. And the action was in progress in that moment. That's why it was before and after. Before noon, it was in progress because I, you, you cannot eat in, in one minute, right? You don't eat in one minute. You, you take time. You minimum probably 10 minutes. You In 10 minutes, you might eat lunch. I don't think most people don't eat less in less than 10 minutes. So um, so you you say, okay, so it's it's something that's it could be before noon and also after, right? So it's a long activity at a specific time. Does that make sense? So far so good? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Also, we can use it when we have we are interrupted continuous past actions. So that means that a, the, an action in the past was interrupted. So I was watching a movie when she called. So a, this action of watching the movie was interrupted when she called. So she called, obviously I had to pick up the phone and I couldn't continue watching the movie. So it was interrupted. Okay, so that's the reason. Another is a, our parallel actions. So I was reading while my brother was playing the guitar. So those two actions were happening at the same time. And the word that the key word here is while. So we know that it's happening at the same time. Okay, here the, the key word is when. When, it tells us mostly an interrupted action. While means that the two actions are parallel. Repeated actions. And so here we have, my last roommate was always leaving dirty dishes in the sink. So this is, she was doing this constantly in the past, always leaving dirty dishes. Okay, so here this, mostly this did, this denotes like, um, a, like an annoying action, but not always. Okay, so it's, something that was constantly happening in the past. And finally, we can also use it to start a story, to set the atmosphere. Okay, so uh, while I was driving to work yesterday, the sun was shining and the birds were singing. So I'm gonna start my story by telling you what's happening around. Okay. Um, How does that sound? Does that make sense? So when to use the past progressive? Any questions? Anything you want to ask before we can we continue to the next part? No? Not really. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. So that's going to be all for today. And I'm going to just finish off by taking the attendance. So... All right, here we go. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present. Thank you. Carlos eh, Mauricio Menjiver Caballero. Present. 
Thank you. Uh, Edwin Antonio Quintero Somaña. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Thank you. Ulises Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jose Carlos Arquieta Romero. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. Osmar Atilio Serrano. Osmar Atilio Serrano. I think you're having problems with the microphone. Can't hear you. Okay, no problem. Um, Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present, Miss. Thank you. Um, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Kevin. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present. Okay, thank you. Very nice glasses. Um, Thank you. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez Acosta. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Okay. Uh, Sigfrido Ernesto Gomez Guinea. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Present teacher. Wonderful. Mina Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present. Wonderful. Eh, Irma Eve Evelyn Rodriguez Torres. Aman Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. And Eduardo Antonio Magaña Monterrosa. Okay, guys. Well, we have come to the end of our class. Um, it's been a pleasure having you guys. And um, you're going to be receiving. Did, did you guys already receive information about, about the next module? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. So yes, every. Perfect. So everybody has received it already. Okay, good. So um, yeah, just just make sure that you you have all the information in your um, in your email address, right? So sorry, in your email, um, check that you have all of the credit uh, the credentials, and that way you'll be able to get into the class as soon as possible. All right. Um, if there's anything that I can help you with. Uh, feel free to uh, to to write to me. And other than that, if there's anybody that wants to stay and ask me a question or anything, I'm here. I'm still available. If not, it's been a pleasure for me having you guys. And I hope you all the best for the next level. Okay. Thank you for all. Thank you for all, teacher. You're night, welcome teacher. for all. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Teacher, sorry, can I talk with you? Absolutely. <laughs> because I've not received the information that another course, I don't know what happened. <laughs> mm. You okay. haven't received the information yet? No, I didn't receive. Mm. But I'm not sure because all the time I have a problem when I try to subscribe, it, but I'm not sure why because the human result tell me that they send the document 
And when the English corporativo requiring the, the, the document because they, they, ellos envían el mail a recursos humanos, pero no sé qué pasó conmigo. Sí, porque de hecho en este curso me aparece como oyente. Ajá, entonces no sé qué pasa, porque siempre que le pregunto, hablo con Marisol, creo yo. Es que antes uh -huh. no era Marisol, antes era Giselle y Jefferson, los que me, los que, con los que yo inicié. Pero ahora que hicieron como el cambio, yo de hecho yo no, yo no venía en este grupo, sino que yo venía en uno más adelante. Se adelantó porque yo tuve un problema cuando cambiaron... A, a la planilla online todo que, que, que ahora lo hacen todo online, ahí fue donde yo me retrasé porque la, la empresa eh, no lo podía descargar, como que tuvo problemas en la plataforma de Liz entonces ahí yo me retrasé uh -huh. y por eso fue que inicié en el que venía, en el anterior pero ahora yo no sé qué pasa porque no, no me llega o sea, yo le pregunto a Recursos Humanos no le llegan como las notificaciones de inglés corporativo o sea, cuando ellos piden la documentación ahora pues me enteré de casual, casualmente que ya, ya están inscritos en el otro curso, o sea, ya les enviaron todo y a mí no me enviaron nada, entonces Obviamente creo que porque no, no, no tienen pues la planilla. Yo ya se la solicité a Recursos Humanos porque me enteré ahorita <risa> eh, para ver si se la pueden hacer llegar, pero no sé con quién debo de hablar porque no, eh, como que se quedó ahí pues mi caso y, y ahora estoy de oyente aquí, pero en realidad no creo que esté de oyente o no lo sé, no lo sé. Vaya. No sé con quién debo de hablar realmente, porque yo le hablé con, en esa ocasión con Marisol o con Carla Lemus, creo que son ahora las dos chicas que están, pero creo que es Marisol, la coordinadora. Sí, bye. en el ah. grupo de WhatsApp aparecen todos los administradores. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿puede mandarle un, un, un correo? a cualquiera de ellos un, o, o mucho, un, un, sí, un de mensaje. hecho ya se lo mandé a Marisol se lo mandé porque me dijeron y yo dije bueno le voy a escribir y de hecho le, le, le acabo de escribir hace cinco minutos le mandé el correo preguntándole nada más pero no sé, o sea mañana yo okay. trabajo sí vale, ah. hágame, hagamos una cosa uh -huh. mándeme su información o sea, mándeme el, el mismo mensaje que usted Uh -huh. mandó Ma Marisol. Sí, mándemelo a mí y uh -huh. mañana me confirma si ellos le han, es le, le han escrito. Okay. Um, si no le han escrito, entonces yo me encargaré de, 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 de hablar personalmente y para, para que alguien se contacte con usted. Igual yo le pensaba llamar porque no sé, o sea, igual yo le escribía le, le escribí a la de Recursos Humanos también porque pues sí, como siempre la documentación me la, o sea, ellos la envían. Sí, ahí hay un problema de, de, de comunicación entre la, entre la empresa. Um, eh, quizás no, no les está de alguna, o, o, o bien los correos de una no le está llegando al otro. Quizás puede ser um, alguna letra que tengan incorrecto o algo así y, Sí, el, voy no. a verificar con Marisol mañana porque bien raro, porque siempre eh, me dicen ellos, ya pidieron la información. O, bueno, yo pensaba que se iba a retrasar porque a veces se retrasa o algo así, pero uno de mis compañeros fue que me dijo que ya habían enviado todo. Y yo, ¿qué? Sí. <ríe> Entonces... Y usted que lo dijo ahora al final, pues la verdad no. Yo se lo voy a reenviar, pero no sé a qué correo se lo reenvío. ¿A usted? Cor el co o sea, ¿usted mandó correo? Yo le mandé correo a Marisol, al de PN. Vale, eh, solamente haga copy, eh, copy paste y me Ajá. lo manda a WhatsApp. Ah, 
Vale, ok, entonces okay. esa la voy a agregar aparte porque yo la tengo en el grupo. Ajá, ok. Ok. Vale, yo se lo hago llegar okay. y le pregunto mañana igual sí. a Marisol y si no le consulto a usted porque sí. no, no sé. por favor, de ahí me, me hace saber si, si se han contactado con usted. Vale, okay. muchas gracias. Igual yeah. no sé, este... Como porque aparezco de oyente, yo le pregunté y no. Es, es, por, es por eso mismo, porque como no se, eh, no se pudieron mandar los documentos a tiempo, uh -huh. eh, entonces no puede aparecer en la lista oficial de Insafor, por eso. Uh -huh. uh, pero, ¿quiere decir que entonces como que no haya hecho el módulo este o sí o no? O sea, usted... Eh, um, o sea, sí, sí, sí le, le, o sea, sí aparece como, como que, que usted, o sea, en, en los registros internos sí aparece que usted es, ha, ha cursado el curso y todo, pero, um, pero eh, no le podemos extender un diploma de INSAFOR porque según INSAFOR no estaba en la lista oficial. ¿Me explico? Ah, sí, uh -huh. sí, me, sí. Entonces, um, pero, pero no hay problema porque, por ejemplo, usted sí eh, lo, lo cursa y todo el siguiente, y después usted tiene un diploma en el siguiente uh -huh. que ya está, eh, ya está inscrita con Insapor, entonces no importa si en el anterior sí. no tuvo, porque, ah. porque alguien, alguien podría simplemente eh, tomar como un, un examen de nivelación. Y ah, quedar, okay. quedar, por ejemplo, en este curso y automáticamente ya empieza de ahí. Así que no hay problema con solo que, ah. me, no sé si me explico. Sí, 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 sí. Con respecto al diploma, sí. O sea, o uh -huh. al, bueno, no, nunca me han dado un diploma. La verdad, no, no, no he recibido el diploma, pues como tal. Solo he hecho los cursos y sé que están en la plataforma y lo que he ido como completando. Uh -huh. Ok. Pero sí. igual, o sea, no, o sea, lo que solo quisiera saber es si voy a poder ser inscrita en el módulo que sí, comienza en junio. Sí, entiendo. Uh -huh. Sí, correcto. Entonces, um, eh, sí, hay, hay, mañana asegúrese que se, solo trabaja en la mañana, entonces asegúrese que se. Voy a llamarla y si no le voy a escribir a usted igual, el lunes okay. creo que todavía hay chance, mañana y el lunes de tal vez, no sé. Uh -huh. Ok. Perfecto. Okay, muchas gracias. Ya sabe, Mirna. Cualquier bueno, cosa está más a la hora. Ok, gracias. Pues, buenas noches. Gracias. Igualmente, gracias.